Hello everyone, I'm Pretzel, and in this video, I'll be going over how I got rank 30 Nani. So, just like in the last rank 30 Mortis video that I uploaded last week, this was also recorded using Nani Cheese and before the Bow Totem got nerfed. But I still think it's good to show off all the rank 30s that I get just for you guys. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this video because I'll be making a lot more videos in the future and I will also be streaming quite a bit so make sure to look out for those. But yeah, without further ado, let's hop right into the games. Alright, hopping into this first game and we are facing a Sprout, a Crow, and a Leon. So Crow is really good to go up against because I'll be able to one-shot a Crow and I'll also be able to one-shot Leon if I build up my head enough. So, yeah, I'm just basically going to be chilling. In the totem, the crow comes in and suicides for the totem. So that's kind of a rip. We don't have a totem. I go for the Leon. I barely don't build up enough. Got another totem. I tank the first sprout shot trying to take it out. But then the, sp the sprout also suicides to take out the totem as well. So only one more left. And then it's just going to be more of a traditional game, but with a head start, since I already got two kills after they were suiciding. Here goes our last totem. I do have a head, and I'm going for the crow, but really well done by the sprout by tanking it. So yeah, now with all the totems gone, it's just gonna be a regular game. The crow jumps in and takes a lead, but we take it right back. And yeah, since we have the lead now, I'm just gonna be chilling because I have four stars, and I also see that the Leon has a super right now, so I'm hiding as well. And I assume the Leon's coming down. And I'll be checking. I still haven't seen him, so I think he might be in the bottom right bush. He isn't there. Oh, there he is, right there. And I almost get the kill on him. And But they do manage to take out our spout and take the lead not good so the crow at the bottom left has trapped himself in a corner and we are able to take him out very nice we retook retake the lead the leon's coming in with four stars and i take him out then i get a very nice 2.9k shot and instantly delete the sprout as well for the win a little bit sus it was more of a regular game than a cheese game but we end up winning anyways so very nicely done. Alright, going into this next game, and we are facing a bee, a Byron, and a Piper, which is a very good comp to go up against since I can one-shot all three of them with my head. But my main targets are going to be the bee that has a gadget that can take out the totem, and the Byron super once he gets it. So, yes, we're just going to be waiting for our first head and it's going out. Nice kill there. I ju definitely juked the Byron by turning so close to the wall. I barely didn't hit it. So that was very nice. Another head coming in. And I see the Byron has super on the left. So I immediately 180 to go take him out. He does get the totem though with his main attack. Which is unfortunate. But we do have two more. It's not the end of the world. There's a bee gadget coming in, but it doesn't quite reach the totem. We definitely got pretty lucky there. I take out the Byron, who has a super again. And five stars for me now. If I don't die, we will be winning this game. So another head coming in. The Piper does juke my head, but I turn around and take out the bee that had four stars instead of the Piper that had two stars, so definitely worked out in my favorite there. Six stars now, another head coming in. I'm gonna take out the Byron, and our totem gets taken down by the Piper, but there's 25 seconds left. We still have one more. If I don't die, we will win this game, so I'm gonna be playing very passive. I almost got a kill on the B, and the bee and the bow trade. Our sprout dies. They're kind of pushing in, but 
our spirits respawning and the bow and we get we kill them all very nice gg let's hop into the next one all right hopping into the next game and we are facing mr p brock and penny so my main targets are going to be the brock and the penny and I don't think the enemy team realizes that we're doing Nani Cheese since they haven't been pushing up yet. But that is perfect for me and because it gives me time to get my super. And there's the first one going in. I'm looking for the Brock. There he is. I see him in the bush, so I take him out. Very nice. So yeah, gonna be waiting for our next super. There it is. One tip with Nani is to make sure that you always lift your thumb off of the movement pad once you launch the head because it'll reset the center location. So always make sure to lift your finger off and then place it back. But yeah, we got another kill on the penny and another head is coming out. And I kill the penny yet again. Five stars for me. They haven't got a kill yet on the enemy team. Next head is launched. Let's see, I see the penny there. Ooh, barely miss her. She went into the grass and I couldn't quite track her location accurately enough. The penny has been pushing in very nicely. Well played. The penny also has a turret which could take out the totem. The penny jukes me in the grass again. I definitely thought she would try and escape through that opening. And I get taken down. We do still have the lead though. Get a couple shots off the Brock, make him retreat while our bow sets up another totem. And yeah, we've set up again. I'm gonna get another head really soon. There it is. I'm gonna go for the Brock or the Penny. It doesn't really matter. I go for the Penny, but it isn't quite enough to take her out. I had to build up a little bit more, but we've already won. The match is over. Good game. Let's hop into the last one. All right, hopping into this last game, and we are facing Byron, Leon, and Bo. Now, I'm only able to one-shot the Byron, and we still haven't faced another Nani Bo team, which is a bit unfortunate. I would have liked to showcase one of those games, but the strategy isn't as popular on this map as others. Now, the Leon did suicide in and give me my super faster than I normally would, and then I go for the Byron. We have already two kills and it hasn't even been 30 seconds into the game very nice third head coming in and yeah i'm just gonna well might as well go for the bow and take out the totem as well oh my god the leon's right there good thing i'm i was spamming auto aim once i saw that and managed to take him out too i get another kill on the byron already six stars completely crushing them but Oh, bow mines coming in. Pro tip, don't trigger them. Just stand to the side so you can keep your totem. I very close, almost hit the edge of that wall. It seems our teammate has forgot that the bow mines were there since I never triggered them, which is quite funny. I've already got seven stars, so my mission is going to be to stay alive throughout the constant pressure that they're having. So, oh my god, the Leon's right there. I auto-aim super and take him out. That was so... That was pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. If I had died, we still would have been ahead, but it wouldn't have been a crushing lead. But I do manage to stay alive. Very good reaction time by me. There's 20 seconds left. And it looks like we're gonna win this game. Another Invisible Leon. He has been charging his super on the enemy boat totem. So, kind of sneaky. It almost caught me off guard twice, but I managed to stay alive and we win this final game. Very good. That is rank 30 Nani. Let's just watch the animations unfold. Alright, here I'm just showing the battle log. The push went extremely well, actually. We didn't lose a single time past 900 trophies, and yet it still took an hour and 45 minutes 
to push from 900 to 1000. So this map isn't the most competitive and it was pretty easy, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, thanks for watching.